several years ago, I had been volunteering at the library for several years. <laughs> and I liked it a lot. It was my favorite activity before I came to Jewel Start Bagging. I took a lot of pride in being able to find sections of books that weren't technically mentioned. You know, like where this particular author tended to have his books or where a particular genre of this particular genre happened to be. I, I took a lot of pride in that. Okay, so there I was, shelving books, having a good time, looking at a few, picking out ones I would check out later. And suddenly, there it was. Apparently, the, the library was testing out its fire alarms. And someone, somewhere, just happened to slip up a little bit and forgot to put the intercom warning that, hey, we're going to be doing this, which I must admit would have helped a lot. And after it was stopped, I was like, okay, good. It's done. I'm shaken, but... I can survive. I can keep going. No, I will keep going. This, I will survive this and this will be a story of how I kept going. So, I kept going. I kept shelving. I doing pretty well. Then, not too long afterwards, And because I had steeled myself up by saying that, that was that, it's over, I can relax. And because I had done that, I was totally not ready. I just, I broke. I, I, it was pretty bad. It was at that point I was, when I was still coaching myself back into sanity that I was out of it my mind was gone I could the only thing I could think about was that sound and how it hurt. And finally when it stopped, the only thing that, the only sensible thing that could get into my head long enough to stick was I had to get out of there. I had to leave. I had to find a place where I could be alone, where I could collect myself, let the tears fall, and then come back at least at least a little bit with some composure.